welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a reptile room tour and showing you guys all of my reptiles and all of their enclosures. So yeah, we're going to jump right into it. Um, keep in mind most of my enclosures are all from Zen Habitats. My affiliate link is in my description. If you guys have any questions about the enclosures or any of the animals, go ahead and leave it in the comments section and we're going to go ahead and get started so that way we can get through all of these magnificent creatures and their lovely homes. So starting off in the living room, this is Lulu's 75 gallon tank and her basking platform on the top, which she is up there right now, as you can see, absorbing some heat and UVB. There's Lulu, she's my yellow bellied slider and she is the cutest thing ever. So yeah, there she is just chilling. I love going in the living room and just seeing her do this all day. It's the cutest thing ever. And yeah, so this is the rest of the living room. I know you guys like seeing it. I have a hoard of books. I am obsessed with reading. It is one of my favorite hobbies. And then I did decorate for Halloween. So there's a lot of Halloween stuff out there right now because it makes me happy. Halloween is my absolute favorite holiday. And then this is my bedroom. So we're gonna start looking at the enclosures that I keep in my room, starting with Stumpy, my bearded dragon right here. And he has a little bit of raspberry under his chin still. It is always getting stuck there, I swear. Um, he has a 4x2x2, by two by two, 120 gallon enclosure. This is my Scorby. I'm obsessed with him, and he was dressed as a ghost. So yeah, he's in a 4x2x2, by two by two, 120 gallon enclosure, and it's pretty simple and basic. I don't have a lot of climbing opportunities just because he does have one leg missing, and I don't want him to get injured. But he climbs all over the background and his basking area anyway. And he's still able to be active, but in a safe manner. So yeah, that is his entire setup. And he has been doing wonderful. I love having him. And here's a close-up of him. He is so pretty. He's a really great bearded dragon. He's very different from Dude, but each one has their own personality. They're all just very different. So yeah, underneath Stumpy are two 4x2x16 enclosures. And they are for my leopard gecko and my African fat tail gecko. The top one is for my leopard gecko. This one's pretty messy. Um, I have hides basically all over the place and little dishes that I just put his food on depending on where he's at in this enclosure because it's huge. So it's kind of crazy. And then here's Kiwi, the leopard gecko. He is super cute. I don't really see him during the day too much. He's always out at around like nighttime, which is, it's normal for them. So I don't get to see him too often. And then same for my African fat tail gecko. This enclosure is so massive. I was worried it would be too big for her, but she loves it. So I'm really happy I did decide to upgrade her. Both of them have heat pads on this, by the way. So it is pretty dark because there's no lighting on their setups. Um, and then here is Mango, my African fat tail gecko up close. She is literally the cutest thing on the planet. I don't think anything could possibly be cuter than her face. She is just the sweetest gecko. These guys are so underrated, and I think that they are perfect for beginners. They are just so perfect. They're so slow and cute. And then this is my 2 by 2 by 4 screen enclosure for my panther chameleon, Willie. He is a nosy bay panther chameleon. I just sprayed down the enclosure here so everything is wet and his plant is a corn plant and it's been flowering lately which is crazy i've never seen that happen before he has the corn plant and then he has this like palm tree plant and then a monstera in there too so it's really filled in he has a lot of climbing areas and things to do in here and he seems really happy and here he is close up Again, he's a nosy bay. They are known for having blue colors like this, and I just, it's unreal. It's crazy seeing an animal like this. He is just so pretty, and he has such a good personality for a chameleon, too. I love this guy so much. So yeah, that's his enclosure, and then below his enclosure is my 2x2x2 two by two by two for my crested gecko, Oakley. And this is what her enclosure looks like. She was not out sleeping, so we weren't able to see her. So I'm going to attach a clip so you guys can see what she looks like. If you've never met her before, this is Oakley. <laughs> she is so cute. She's like my little potato, and I adore her. She has the best personality of any of my animals. Don't tell the others, but oh my god, I love her so much. 
this is the rest of my room in case you were wondering some other angles i have all the animals on the side and then like the tv and then of course i have crystals everywhere and like art of animals so here are some of my crystals some of my favorite ones and yeah then we can finally move into the reptile room which is attached to my bedroom i don't know if this was supposed to be a walk-in closet or what but <laughs> It became my reptile room. So this is just an overview of everything that's in here. I don't really know how I managed to fit everything in here that I did, but I'm, pr I'm pretty proud of myself because there's a lot of animals in here and they all have a lot of space in their setups. And this is also Chacho's favorite place to come and just bask. Bowie was out here. So this is her and her enclosure. She has a four by two by two PVC Zen Habitats enclosure as well and she has been so active i was so shocked to see her out like this so i had to grab a clip so yeah <laughs> there's bowie doing her thing and then above bowie is another four by two by two for metamora and here's some more close-ups of bowie because of course you know i had to take her out you guys love seeing her and all of her iridescence and it has been really sunny lately so it's been the perfect opportunity to get some good up close clips of her and her iridescence. So you're welcome. You're welcome. And then these are the enclosures again. I know I just showed you this, but here it is again. <laughs> and then this is Metamora and her four by two by two enclosure. She is super active at nighttime, but during the day she is sleeping on top of her branch. So let's get a closer view of her. She's not the most handleable. She just doesn't really, I mean, she tolerates it pretty well, but I don't like disturbing her and taking her off of her branch. So I'm leaving her there as she is. So then moving on over, we have another two by two by two crested gecko enclosure, which belongs to Chip who loves pooping on that front door. This is his setup. And he is always tucked in the back of that cork bark sleeping and that's his butt. I got this super cute picture of him recently. So I'll show you guys that. That we can see who he even is. And that is his setup. So we'll let him continue his sleep. And then underneath that is a deluxe stacking spacer. This is perfect for housing all of my crap, all of my tools and supplies that I don't want you to see that I can just close and then it looks so much better. And then under that is another 4x2x16 enclosure for my blue tongue skink. He is an Indonesian blue tongue skink and his name is Chancho. I know you guys get super confused because I have a dog named Chacho and then his name is Chancho. I'm sorry. It's, it's confusing for all of us and it was not planned. So yeah, there he is. He is still not very handleable um, and that's his entire setup. And he seems like a happy guy if I'm not trying to ever touch him or pick him up because that's what he just hates more than anything. But he'll happily come to me for some snacks and that's pretty much my relationship with him. Underneath is my 4x2x16 enclosure for Bloom my corn snake. This enclosure is so dirty right now. Just we'll, we'll ignore this one for now. This one needs work. And then here is Bloom up close. Can't believe how big he's gotten. And then here is another overview of everything that we just went over and all of the animals that are inside them. Oh yeah, we forgot a Braxis. <laughs> Here's a Braxis and his, actually it's, she's a girl. I still need to remember this. This is her four by two by two wood enclosure and she has grown so much, but she is not gonna get any bigger than this, guys. <laughs> it's really sad. I thought she was gonna get huge, but because she is a female, she is not gonna get any bigger. She's gonna try her best though because she will eat super worms all day long um but yeah this is as big as she's getting i haven't been handling her as much she just doesn't really like it that much so i'm not gonna push her and stress her out and she's also too smart she knows i'm like tricking her when i'm trying to feed her and get her out so yeah i kind of gave up on that but i still love her and then this is the other side of the room with all of these enclosures these are the last ones we're going to go through the top one is my newest enclosure i upgraded casper my blue-eyed leucistic ball python into a four by two by two he needed more climbing height and he has been settling in and utilizing all of the space and i'm so happy about it and here he is close up he is so gorgeous i think he's actually turning four years old this year which is so crazy 
Um, but he is just like the perfect ball python. He really is. And like, I'm not meaning any shade for chaos, but chaos is a picky eater. And I really respect Casper for eating frozen thawed. So now we're going to move on to chaos and this is his enclosure. It's a four by two by 16. He doesn't climb as much. So he is in the shorter enclosure. I would like to upgrade him in time if I have more space eventually, but it's fine for now. And here he is. He is my little ray of sunshine, even though he stresses me out and only eats live mice, but what can you do? He is super stunning and he does have a really great personality. So he was my very first ball python and he got me over my fear and hatred of ball pythons. So I have a lot of respect for this guy and he is stunning. So then below that we have a four by two by two enclosure for peaches, my red footed tortoise. And she has been growing so much. And this is her setup. She has a naturalistic background on the back. I cleaned her water bowl right before this because as you guys know, she is dirtying it up like literally every second. Like This tortoise is the messiest animal that I have and she's so destructive and no one would ever guess looking at her cute little face. But man, this girl is so messy, but I love her so much. And then at the very bottom is Janemba, my pixie frog, and he is always chilling in his little water area with his fountain. He has a whole other area for burrowing and dirt, and he's usually in the water. And then these are the last two setups, and then a cabinet stand at the bottom for storage. This enclosure is for my gargoyle gecko, Sunny. And I was so shocked. I did not know she was out. And this gecko is literally never out during the day. So you guys got lucky for this clip. Because now you guys get to see her in daylight and see how gorgeous she is. I love the orange on her. She is just, oh, she's so pretty. I love this gecko so much. I was so happy that she was actually out for this clip. So yeah, there is Sunny in her setup. And then the one on top is... The same exact size and it is for my other gargoyle gecko citrus citrus is in the cork bark completely hidden as both of them usually are so yeah this is the rest of his setup and actually you know what i always say he he's a she too and there she is but you know it happens and then here are all of the enclosures a little overview again i hope that you guys enjoyed seeing all of my animals and their enclosures Please check out Zen Habitats. You can shop using my affiliate link in the description. And Peaches and I hope that you have a wonderful day and we will see you guys in the next one.